Hello world, this is how our family escaped from Tokyo. Something I found refreshing about Japan is that if you can manage to pull yourself out of Tokyo, there are so many interesting places to go. But a lot of families I know in Tokyo just don't get that far out. To get a bit of insight as to why, I interviewed a salary man and asked what his family does on their week long vacations. Japanese or no, no, no. Japanese is. Plus. Why the extended weekends instead of a full blown week or two of vacation? They basically said that even though their companies give them vacation time, they can't just take a week or two off whenever they want. That'd be inconsiderate because that'd be leaving your work for colleagues to do. There are special Japanese holidays like Oshogatsu in the winter or Obon in the summer, where you can get a week off, but everyone has that time off, so it's usually quite busy and expensive. So because many Japanese families can't or don't want to travel too long or too far, those living in Tokyo don't often go to places like this. My family and I went to Kochi, but more specifically, the Monobegawa area. Unless someone in Japan has family there, they probably won't even have heard of the place. There's many interesting things to do. Let's break it down into a few categories. History, especially samurai. In this area, the airport is called Kochi Ryoma Airport. It's named after Ryoma Sakamoto, a famous samurai who helped overthrow the Tokugawa shogunate in the late 1800s that brought about the Meiji Revolution. So the guy's from this area, and you'll find out about him at Actland, which stands for Activity Land? No, it's actually Arts, Culture and Technology, A-C-T, Act. Oh. I got to wear a yukata. Hey, Chan, is that tight? Not really. What did you get to ride in? I got to ride in a little taxi, like a Japanese princess, or some person that's very important. It was a little box that you go in, and then people hold it up on their shoulders. This time, let's run the bike went up. For some reason, they decided to give Shin a sword. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's left-handed, and back then, samurai weren't. In the back, um, there's a Sakamoto Ryoma, the story of his life. Do you remember how he dressed? He wore a kimono, which is Japanese, but also boots he got from Western people. <laughs> I was really surprised that they had so many scenes. I thought you might just have one or two. But there are like over 20, I think. Yes. Lots mm. of details. If you like the story of a samurai's life at Actland, then you'll enjoy the Kochi Prefecture Museum of History. They had this really neat setup where you could see what it was like where leaders would meet. For some reason, they gave Shin a sword again. <laughs> 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 
。それで君はそれをどれそれはね忍者。それは忍者になっちゃうので、<笑>偉い人は腰そうですそうそう。そうそうそうそう。それで抜いてみて。はい。こうさないよ。てか本物みたい。違うんだったね。石、ね、くん。わあすげえ。これはね。危ない危ない。じゃあ来ない。Did you get to try on the armor? Um, only the head part because it was kind of like lots of weight on it. When I wore it, it felt heavy, but I think the real one would be even heavier. Daddy, do your thing. Do your thing. No, no, just go like that. Like this? Yes, yes, you have to do that. Shin, I command you to attack. Will you attack? Yeah. The one you wore wasn't really heavy. The real one is three times heavier than the one you wore. So the guns were from like a different country, and then Japanese start、um, like breaking pieces and then see how it was made and then make their own Japanese gun. Yeah, the guns came from Portugal 470 years ago, and it took the Japanese 10 years to start making them on their own. Well, while they were busy at Starbucks, I went to the top of the mountain to visit a recreation of where the Joshu, the Lord of the Castle, would overlook the surrounding valley. One of the neat things about traveling to different parts of Japan is that they have different styles of trains. So the the station's name is Sari Station. Well, if yeah, it's Gomen Station, but Gomen means Sari. All right. So what was different about this train than other trains you've ridden on? On one side, there's an open door place, and you can see outside. And what did you think standing outside? Oh,、uh, like it was really beautiful. But if you put your head too much, like you'll like be hit by the pole. So you have to be careful. <laughs> yeah. Usually in Tokyo, when I go to train stations,、um, like you have your pass mo, and then you put it in first. But at Gomen Station,、um, first you buy the ticket, and then you go down to the platform. You go in the train, and then when you go to the station you want to go, you give the ticket, and then you go out. So that was different than usual trains. So the train ride was over when we hit the park, which conveniently had a beach. And、uh, how was the beach? There was a place to like go up and see the view from a、um, high place. The beach was beautiful and it was kind of warm water. Unfortunately, we didn't bring our swimming suits, so you guys couldn't go swimming. Yeah. Isn't it nice to get your feet in the water? Than other beaches, like this,、uh, it looks so pretty. Okay, wait. Let me focus. Okay, yeah. And there's like a lot around here, like these ones, or these ones, or like you can just find them everywhere. And they're really pretty if you put it in a bin bottle. Okay, we can find a very real rocks in here. We gotta get going, though, Shinny. Then how's the weather? Is it hot? It's very hot. We went to、um, a food bar place. How's it, Shin? Great. It was tasty. Yeah, it's so yummy. As fantastic as Japan's transportation system is, there are some places that are easier to explore by car. Our rental was about 6,000 yen a day, and one of the places we went to was Noichi Zoo. So Aiko, how was Noichi Dobutsu Koen? 
Like it had different animals, like cute animals, like big animals. Oh, so the zoo was really fun, and there was a place that you can touch small animals. You can hear something. Mm -hmm. A voice. I had fun walking around too. I liked the trees. There was the bamboo forest. It felt like you were really in nature. Yeah, it was a nice scenery and they even had ice blocks. The zoo was hot in the middle of the summer, even with ice blocks, so a place we could cool down was the Yase Takashi Museum, the guy that made Anpanma. And so, did you watch Anpanma, the anime? Oh yeah, like, if you say like when you're a kid, everybody watched Anpanma. Yeah, everybody should know Anpanma if you're like Japanese. Anpanma given his head to like somebody. Wait, wait, wait. Anpanman gave his head to someone? Well, Anpang, an, anko, bread beans, I think? Pang, like bread. And then his face is Anpang. His face is a red bean bread? Yeah, it's a sweet bread. And then like, he gives his head to somebody when somebody's sad or like somebody's hurt. Oh, this is how they make Anpanman. Anpanman. I see. After cooling down, it was time to get hot once again. Yeah, it was kind of fun to make your own drinking glass. So it was really fun, but it was really hot in the melting place. You need lots of skill to make it last. Oh, you know why? I think the orange makes your face look super red. I was like, wow, you know, like crazy red, you're gonna burn. Ah, video. <laughs> video. <laughs> mm, yeah, it's easy to drink. <sighs> and after the heat of the furnace, we went to Yugado Cave to cool down. So how are the caves? The cave is like cool. There's a cave entrance and then like if you just go a little bit back, it's like really cool. Like it's like an air conditioner in like the middle of the like outside. And if you go in it's really cool and cool, like the scenery. <laughs> cool and cool. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> There's two parts to the cave, right? 
There's the part that anyone can go, and you just wear your normal clothes, and they have metal stairs and lights and everything like that, right? But then there was another part where they opened up this gate, and then you had to crawl through this tunnel, right? <laughs> There's a door for a walking course, adventure course. This is a real cave. It's like, yeah, it's very adventure. And then like, you know, you said like, there's no lights and no stairs. And then like, you just climb on like um, rocks and then like go on ropes. And then like, if you fall, like. Easy to slip, okay. If you fall or if you trip, it's really, like, really ouchy. It'd be dangerous, yeah, yeah some yeah, parts. Yeah, it would be dangerous. Like, some parts, like, like, really, it's really dangerous. Like, if you, like, fall, you, like, I think, I don't know, maybe you might die. You could, yeah. Yeah, it's... there was, like, some parts like that, but, yeah, it was kind of fun. Like, you can see bats and, like... Like, <laughs> I like it kind of a little bit adventure, so like it was a really fun for people that like adventures. How are you feeling, Shinta? Fun, I love it. Use this block. Don't touch it. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, and the guide, I really liked her. Yeah, she was so fast. But I felt safe because she was there, so she told us where to go safely. Yeah. How's it in the cave? Oh, it's fun. Adventure cave. Yeah. How was mommy? Mommy's freaking out. But she survived? Yeah, she survived. Okay, I'm tired. Where's the onsen? Mascot cat. The mascot of oh, yeah. oh, it's And it's a cat and a fish. Yes. It's a fishy. What we showed is the tip of the iceberg of stuff you can do when you get outside of Tokyo. So if you visit Japan and have time, I'd suggest trying out the lesser known places like Monobigawa. Three, two, one, go! Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. What's it like getting out of the city where you're from? And I'd be curious to know which of the places we visited interested you the most. Please let us know.